how to upload a safety data sheet or an ex an exemption form uh, when you're given the warning that your product is under dangerous goods review. My name is Ben Tillis and I'm with my Amazon guy. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when you're putting up an, a product and you get a warning uh, that your product's under dangerous goods hazmat review when there's nothing dangerous about it. So you'll see here, this is, I was, I just created a new product and I was uh, just confirming everything and I get this issue, uh, product under dangerous goods hazmat review. And so what you need to do, at first it's saying it's, it's under review, which can take up to four days, but my product really isn't dangerous. So it says you can provide additional classification information here. So I'm going to click that and it brings me here. Um, so I've got nothing here. You'll go down here and you'll see that there is an exemption sheet for products without harmful chemicals. That's, that's what I am. So that's my product. I'll go there. I download it. It looks like this. So, um, what you'll do is you'll put your name here, put your first name, first name. Here, you're going to say no to all these things because that's the whole point of this. Um, this is an exemption form. I'm just going to copy that the rest of the way down. Um, and then you'll put in whatever ASIN it is that you're talking about. For me, it's this. There, product name. I'm just going to copy this whole title. Not sold with the magnet. Just make sure that's an option here. Yeah. None needed full ingredients list. There, there's really, there's no ingredients here. And then here it's asking, it's not shown all the way. Does your product contain compressed gas? No. Um, and then, yeah, here just, it's, it notes materials are not ingredients. So I'm just going to put an any there. Um, it looks like it was required. So yeah, probably first name. Dude. These are just the instructions. I'm just making sure I follow all of them. Um, Okay, so from here, I'm just going to save it. And then once you're here, we're going to go back to this page net there. Here, oops, you will go to upload document. Once again, we're back at this page. Upload document here in the top right. Specify ASIN. That is this. Choose file. That's when I'll go to my most recent that. Specify language. This is in English. And then you will click upload. Um, I'm not going to upload that because I inserted my first and last name as first and name. But yeah, you get it. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you should be all good. And then your exemption sheet is up. It still may take some time for Amazon to process it all. Uh, but that way they know that your product is in fact not dangerous. All right. Thanks.